Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a few different options that you have using the iPhone iCatch app when you have either no service or low service or if you want to just take a picture of your fish to save for later and upload later during the tournament. This is how you'll do that. So first I'm going to pull down my settings. I'm going to put the phone in airplane mode which disconnects me from all data. Alright, next I'm going to hit the little uh, blue circle with a plus sign in it and select add a catch. We're going to select our species, select our tournament, and that's going to take us in to take a photo of our fish. So we're going to center that up. Um, you can see the flash symbol there. If you want to turn the flash on, uh, if it's at night or you know you need to light the fish up, you can do that. So we're going to hit next. It's going to require us to put in the length of the fish. At the top there, you can see the fish length and tap to change. So if you tap that, it'll bring the fish length back up and you can change it to whatever you need to. Alright, so we're good there. We're going to hit confirm. Alright, here uh, you can see in the middle it says save catch and upload later. We're going to select that and we're going to hit save. Alright, and this kicks us back out to the main page. If we hit the little plus sign in the blue circle again and select add a catch, you'll notice it says upload pending catches or add a new catch. So if we click the upload pending, there you can see our catch has been stored on the app. So we're going to go in now and we're going to turn uh, airplane mode off. So we're going to reconnect to data. And if we give it just a moment here, you'll see at the top of the screen a little blue symbol come down that said uh, catch uploaded. It's very quick, but you can see it there. All right, so that means the catch automatically will upload for you when you reconnect to good cell phone service or Wi-Fi. So we're going into the tournament here. If we go to the leaderboard, there we are. You can see the catch was uploaded successfully. All right, one more tidbit here. If you go into a catch and you actually click on the catch itself, the photo of the catch, you can then zoom in on the catch so you can check things, uh, take a close look at what everybody's doing and all that stuff. So just a tidbit there for you. Alright, so next we're going to go in same same route, but this time we're going to leave Wi-Fi on. Okay, take a picture of our fish. Going to select the length. What we're doing here is, um, this is, this would be if you're in, if you have cell phone service and it's poor cell phone service, or if you just want to save your catch for later, uh, even though you have signal, you can do that as well. So we're going to do that, hit uh, save, then we're going to hit the plus sign again, add a catch, and you can see upload pending catches. That's going to bring that list up. We can select the one that we want to upload, hit submit, give it just a moment. All right, we go back into the tournament, look at the leaderboard, and now we have two catches submit on, submitted on there. So those are the two catches that we've done so far in this video. All right, now we're going to turn the airplane mode back on, so disconnect from all data, and add another catch. This time, this is if there's no service, and we're going to see what happens when we forget to switch the save, catch, and upload later uh, switch on. We're just going to go through and try to submit, and we'll show you what happens here. All right, so here we are on the screen. We do not flip the switch over, and we hit submit, and we get a message that says, you're currently offline. Do you want to save your catch? And you're going to hit save. All right, and that's basically the same process. If we hit the plus sign again and add a catch, there it is, upload pending catches. That's the catch that we just saved. All right, we're going to take off of airplane mode now. And if you watch at the top, it automatically uploads that catch for you. There it is. All right, so we're going to go into the leaderboard. Perfect, there's all three of our catches. Okay. And that's the three different options that you have with uploading an offline catch. Now I'm going to show you one other thing here. If we click on feeds, this is a list of all the catches that are coming through on the iCatch app, all the tournaments, everybody that's participating in the different things. If you click on your catch there, you can see the three dots in the top right hand corner. You can actually delete your catch by doing this. So we're going in and deleting these because these are demo photos. 
taken for instructional purposes. Now if we go back to the leaderboard, there you can see our catches are no longer listed. So if you take any demo pictures, you can delete them yourself if you want to. All right, we're going to go over one more situation here. Um, this is going to be, we're going to put the phone back in airplane mode, okay? And we're actually going to completely close the app, all right? So we have no data connection, and we're going to open the app up. Now, if we try to click around in the app and look at a leaderboard or go to the feeds or anything like that, we're going to receive no internet connection because there's no mobile data connection going on. Right, so we can't join a tournament or do anything like that. The only thing we can do when we're in airplane mode or have no service is add a catch. So you can see us navigating around there. We're going to go to add a catch now, so select the species just like we normally would, go through the process. Take the photo. Enter the length. All right, we're going to hit submit again. It's going to tell us we're in offline mode. We're going to hit save. And same process. Hit the plus sign. Add a catch. There it is, upload pending catches. Now we're going to reconnect to mobile data. And once we do that, it takes just a moment, but the catch uploads automatically for you in the background. There it is. Okay. If we go take a look at the leaderboard now, there you can see that catch showed up. So if you have no internet connection or your phone's in airplane mode, you will not be able to navigate through the app. The only thing you'll be able to do is add a catch. So that wraps it up, guys. Hopefully this took care of all the questions that you have. If not, you can always reach out to us through the chat inside of the app or by sending us an email at support at iCatchApp.com. Thanks.